first half of December was characterized by violations of human rights and freedoms in Azerbaijan. On December the 3rd, the next session of the National Council of Democratic Forces elected Jamil Hassan as the chairman of the council. The session also discussed social political developments in the country and around the globe. On December the 2nd, back a court on grave crimes sentenced former MP Gilar Ahmadova to three years in prison on charges of embezzlement in large scale and harboring serious crime. Given the fact that the two charges stipulate up to 15 years imprisonment, of which average citizens normally get between 10 and 12 years, experts consider the lenient sentence for Ahmadova as the partiality of courts. The reason for Ahmadova's arrest was a video released by the former rector of the International University, Ershad Abdullayev. On these shots, taken with a hidden camera, it is possible to see how Ahmadova and her accomplice, Sevinj Babayeva, demand $1 million from Abdullayev for his election as MP. While in office, Gilad Ahmadova had filed a lawsuit against journalist Avaz Zainali, which eventually placed him in jail for nine years on March 12th this year. The judicial process on the case of NETA activist and free youth member Elkin Rustamzada continued in December. The youth are accused of plotting a riot in Baku on March 10th, possession of weapons and illegal drugs, and hooliganism. Their case draws a big public interest. On December the 6th and 7th, Azerbaijan Human Rights House, in cooperation with the Legal Education Society, organized a second forum of human rights defenders with participation of metropolitan and regional civil society representatives and foreign experts. According to the head of the Legal Education Society in Tugam Aliyev, the main purpose of the event is promotion of fundamental human rights and human values in society, particularly among young people, as well as active involvement of young people in the process of solving the emerging problems. In order to accomplish this goal, strong partnership with government agencies, non-governmental organizations and international organizations is needed. On December the 6th, the Nasimi District Court of Baku sentenced Gurban Mehmedov, a lawyer and a member of the National Council of Democratic Forces, to three years of imprisonment. He was convicted on charges of violating traffic rules, causing damage to health and offering payoff to victim. Mehmedov was arrested in early June this year in connection with an accident which happened in September 2012. The victim had no complaints against Mehmedov, but after the lawyer participated in the establishment of the National Council, the police arrested him. This is Gurban Mehmedov's second term in jail. Previously, he was jailed for five years on trumped up charges during the tenure of former President Heydar Aliyev. One more journalist was condemned on December the 9th. Editor-in-chief of AzadSeber.org news website Nijad Aliyev was sentenced to 10 years on charges of illegal possession of drugs and weapons, illegal distribution of religious literature, appealing for seizure of power by force and incitement to religious hostility. The lawyers of the journalist intend to appeal against the decision. Nijad Aliyev was arrested in May of 2012 together with a group of other men. They are accused of spreading discs and leaflets, criticizing the government policy. Human rights groups believe that Nijat Aliyev was arrested for criticizing the government's high expenditures for the Eurovision Song Contest and the state policy on religion. On December the 10th, the Baku Administrative Economic Court No. 1 held a preparatory hearing on the lawsuit filed by the publishing house Ganon against the Tax Audit Department of the Minister of Taxes. The Audit Department conducted an inspection in the office of the publishing company on the 10th of November, seizing several documents, manuscripts and computers. The leadership of the publishing house considers the inspection and confiscation illegal. December the 10th is International Human Rights Day. On this occasion, the Institute for Reporters' Freedom and Safety in cooperation with the U.S. Embassy in Baku and Copenhagen-based NGO International Media Support organized Meet Human Rights Defenders Reception and Fair in a parking hotel. The event was attended by representatives of diplomatic corps, civil society and mass media. 
The last significant social political event of the first half of December was the National Council's protest rally against price rise.